All right, in today's video, we have a very special package all the way from Germany. This is from a member of our Discord, Taya. When I've mentioned them before, I said the Annie Nova because I was trying to make sense of the username, <laughs> which they, they got a good uh, laugh out of. But I reached out again and was like, yeah, just Taya. Uh, I guess it's spelled T-H-E-A, which I'm not very familiar with that name. So yeah, I might have even said Thea if I... <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit clueless on names and stuff. But yes, these were made in Germany. I mean, this isn't the box. I guess this is where they get their filament from. Uh, but these tracks were made in Germany. So, uh, yeah, these are monorail tracks that they've been working on. And, and we've kind of watched in Discord, um, you know, different design iterations and things like that. And I think it's super interesting. It's not something I have a direct interest in um, printing my own tracks. Um, how on earth does this box open up? There we go. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Uh, to me, 3D printing is one of those things you have to be into the 3D printing hobby. <laughs> I don't think you can just uh, order a printer and day one start printing your own tracks and have no problems. I, th I think there's a bit more to it than that. Um, and I stay quite busy enough as it is. Wow, these look great. Just look at that. Come on, focus. That is so awesome. And yeah, there's never been a curve piece like this that I've seen uh, where it doesn't have the grooves. I should have brought one of those pieces down with me. Uh, like that would go to a switch track or a 45 degree curve. You know, with this, you can just continue on with straight pieces or whatever you want. So that definitely opens up some new possibilities for uh, making layouts. And then check this out. Uh, these are actually uh, Technic holes here with pins. And I think that's a, a really good innovation because um, I've brought down some, uh, these are 40 bricks tracks and you can see these are 3D printed studs and they're a little bit of a pain. They're kind of oversized to begin with and I think they would kind of maybe wear out over time. I mean, I only use them so much, so. Um, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, you can see they're a little bit of a pain where they're probably too tight in the beginning and they might loosen up over time as you use them. Um, so let's see how all these work. Oh, that feels great. <laughs> um, so here's an uh, official Lego track. Let's make sure this fits together. Oh, wow. The fit of that is great. Well, this side's a little... Yeah, okay, yeah, it went together. And it looks like the teeth are space perfectly uh you know for the motor to go over um i'm hoping i can kind of build at least some kind of quick layout with these uh, but right now the living room's a mess uh with lego trains so <laughs> uh, i have some other projects i've got too many projects it's getting crazy guys um so that's really good so let's see what all is in here so yeah we've got a straight section um i guess this would be i guess a three quarter straight or something i'm not sure if they are exact um, you know, fractions of the track. Um, you know, I think some of this was just kind of experimentation. Um, so that, yeah, they did say that, you know, there's just a total mix of different parts here. So yeah, you can see the technic holes there. Uh, she said they're a little bit tight, uh, which I think is a good thing. I mean, one, you, you're not really going to try to pull these pins back out and use them elsewhere. It's for another interesting piece. <laughs> I just think these are so cool. Um, you know, you could just, maybe you need a little tiny S curve, you know, you, you never know. <laughs> uh, we'll try these two since while we're at it. Oh, come on. Um, and I think recently, uh, they were working on the supports as well. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that fits great. That, that is so cool. Uh, something I didn't think to bring down. Um, I need to grab some supports. Uh, the stanchions and see how they uh, fit into the bottom of these. I mean, it I looks like it'd be fine. I don't know because they've got a little section there. Um, I will be curious about that. But, uh, uh, you know, you can find some kind of workaround, I'm sure. Um, so, yeah, we've got a bunch of these little little curves. They're so cute. <laughs> I really like that. Um, yeah, we've just got a bunch of stuff. And we've got some, I guess these are quarter straights. Uh, this might be an earlier 
version, you know, where it's got that uh, kind of pattern there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, again, I am not a 3D printing expert at all. These are really cool. These are uh, some kind of tight turns. I didn't bring the other curves to see if maybe that is the normal radius. I guess. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to get more of the um, pins to put in there. Um, yeah, we got this little guy. This is a five stud. I've never seen that before. I have seen four stud, but you know, when you've got uh, parts like these, you might end up with some strange uh, geometries in the track. Uh, I'm just kind of keep digging here. Okay, so this is, oh, this is the support piece. So I think, um, again, I'm not a 3D printing expert, but I, I think this kind of aids in the printing of these. So you're not printing in midair or something like that, I guess. Um, so that's really cool. And I, this material is very, I don't know how to say it. I, it seems like the prints wouldn't stick to it. So I guess that's kind of the purpose of it. That is really cool. This is like, this is high quality stuff here. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, so we got some more, more of the short little guys here. Okay. There's a four stud extension there. Another four. And another straight section. Is this the same as, yeah. Okay. Oh, the same length as that one. I don't know what this is. This might have come off of another piece. Again, there's been many iterations of these over time. Um, and I think, you know, some of these were kind of prototypical. Um, not like finalized designs. <laughs> uh, from what I understand, I know they have some uh, designs on their GitHub page. Uh, we'll have that link in the description. And again, you can just join our Discord and we can uh, we can all discuss this stuff together. <laughs> uh, there's been a very lively conversation about uh, printing tracks. So this, I, I think it's super cool. So I think I've kind of shown each individual piece here. Uh, I need to go upstairs and grab some stanchions. I want to see how that works. And then beyond that, I'll, I'll try to get some kind of layout together to show these off. All right. So we're back with some stanchions, a uh, little bit out of breath. Those stairs get longer every time, uh, but at least it's starting to cool down. It's not a million degrees down here. Okay. So like, like I thought, so yeah, these aren't really going to work there. Um, but as I said, I think that, you know, she's been working on making custom stanchions, you know, again, these aren't final or and all that. Um, but I think I can work with it. I wonder if it fit there. Not quite. So I'll have to figure out something. If nothing else, um, you know, pieces like these could be used on kind of the ground floor um, and not raised up in the air. Um, let me kind of look through these. Yeah, they all look about like they all have that design. This one sticks out a little bit more though. Oh, okay. Well that does work. Okay. So the ones that do have that, maybe that's okay. So I'm guessing the ones after this came about, um, you know, these do reach out a little bit further down uh, and this would be necessary to print that uh, as far as I understand, to be able to print them, uh, from the bottom up. So that is very interesting. So, okay. I'll have to, look through and see which pieces um oh look we we even get an autograph on that one um okay yeah so this is one Whew. uh it's a little tight but yeah that's really cool this is going to be very interesting so yeah i'm uh i'm excited to play around with these uh, again huge thanks to taya for sending these over um, I did pay for shipping, you know, international shipping costs quite a lot. Uh, and I sent a little bit of extra money their way, but, um, you know, that wasn't something to ask for. So I really appreciate uh, sending them over to, to give them a try and, and see what it's all about. So I, I, th I think these are awesome. Okay. So real quick, um, I did not see this page, uh, before recording the next section. Uh, but this is kind of a cheat sheet for some of the different uh, pieces, how to make an R25 curve, um, 
We've got some kind of longer curves here. Um, yeah, I did not know about this before the next section, so I didn't really, um, I mean, I did make the R25 curve, I just did it in a different way. Um, so I guess, yeah, this three quarter section, I guess could be used for a, um, some type of diagonal. Um, so yeah, um, I did not know about this before, but yeah, uh, definitely check out the uh, GitHub page uh, and check all this out. All right, so I got a quick little layout here just to kind of test the tracks and see how they work. Spoiler alert, they work great. Uh, I also noticed this one <laughs> has a Bob Ross quote written on it, uh, something about happy little accidents. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's check it out. Um, okay, first we need some power. Yep. And uh, yeah, it just runs perfect. <laughs> no issues. So let's see. That's a three quarter section. That's a three quarter section. Um, I think that's the only sections up top. Um, we've got these short curves here. And. Um, as I said, you know, Lego never really had curves like that. They were always, you know, that had that jagged edge that went to switch tracks and things. So these, these are really cool if you want to do a quick little diagonal section, something like that. Uh, got another straight section here. Gonna shut this off. Uh, let's see, we've got a tiny little S curve over here and a couple of little short sections there, or just one, I guess. Uh, and then we've got a couple curves there. And uh, let's see if I back this up a bit. Um, so this is the standard Lego curve. And uh, so those two curves pretty much match exactly to the same radius. Um, and then this is actually three. This is like this little guy <laughs> and two of these uh, shorter curves. And it is um, a bit of a tighter radius when you use all three together. But, I mean, it could come in handy one day, you know, like just, <laughs> I mean, if you got like a strange geometry you're trying to work with or trying to make two tracks meet that have a bunch of custom pieces in there, uh, that'll definitely be helpful. So I just wanted to quickly show them in action. They work great. Um, I love the idea with the Technic pins. I think that works really good for getting these to connect easily and they won't, you know, wear out as fast as like a 3D printed stud. Um, you know, in the Tricks Bricks video, I showed where one of the studs had actually already fallen off. <laughs> I've probably used this stud 10 times and it already fell off. Uh, so I think a solution like that's you know, just much more sturdy. And yeah, I was a bit confused about, you know, the stanchions going in the bottom, but like, I think this is the latest design here uh, where you've got the, it, it kind of extends out where, you know, you've got a little more space for the studs to go in and then you get this little section here and that probably helps to keep it all together and then i'm pretty sure these are printed uh from the bottom up you know just like you know, using the uh stand i think they work great they're really some of the better uh tracks that i've gotten um you know over over all this time um, i would imagine maybe they're a little more labor intensive and that's why some of the larger companies um wouldn't go quite this far uh with these designs so yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Again, huge thanks to Tay for sending these over. Um, thanks to all the channel members for helping keep the lights on here. Uh, be sure to join us in Discord. That's where all of this kind of came about and this discussion has been happening. I've got lots of videos about monorails and the different 3D printed tracks available if you want to watch those. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Today's video, we have a very speckle, speckle?